Hello, good morning, and welcome to day two of our Travel to Tennessee vlog. So today's task, we uh, got some groceries that we're gonna go pick up, and we wanna explore this campground. We just went to uh, Walmart and picked up some groceries for the week. Um, we had lunch, and now we're back here trying to settle in. So I just wanna run you down with a couple of things that we have found that help us having Madison camp with us. Things that we have done to try and make this a little bit more, she has her space, that's her play space, that she can engage with the things that she wants to, like she does at home. She has her own space that's kind of, we don't really hang out with her in there, that's her time. So we want to develop some independence that she engages with herself on, on these things. So. What I did was I took our baby gate from the house. Let me just show you. There's mommy. Hello. So we have this baby gate here. And she has her little sleeping pin back there that we have in the back. And then we've, you know, given her a couple of her toys, a ball, a book, one of her stuffed animals. And then we just put this gate here. And it's, I mean, it's not going anywhere. So now we're chilling out and hoping for a nap. Yeah, hopefully we'll have a little nap time and then we want to see if we can get her on a swing or yeah. down a slide or something. So. She needs to be rested first. Yep. You see what mommy's doing? You want to come up too? Come start over here. Okay. She says bet. Oh, there's a steering wheel up here. Uh oh. You're gonna come up and play, baby? Yep. Big step. Big step. Come on. You, can do it. you, you can got do it. it. Yay. Nice. Good job. Another big step. Good job. Come on up. Cool. Awesome. Which way do you want to go, baby? Do you want to go down the slide? Come on, Bubba. You want to come down this slide? Yeah. 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 Come on, scoot, scoot, scoot. That's really warm. Woo! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you all right, Bubba? You want to do it again? Let me get the... Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, goodness. So here at Jack Hill State Park, they have a couple of different playgrounds throughout the park. Um, we're currently at the bigger of the two playgrounds where they have kind of a large one here, smaller one there, and then there's one behind you there. They also have some basketball courts. The miniature golf is actually over there as well. They have a couple of day use pavilions here. So this is kind of where the front offices are. So this is kind of the main day use area. Then down the road a little bit, they have a couple of uh, day use pavilions. What looks to be kind of like some primitive camping style places. Uh, and then just around the lake there, they have uh, all of our stuff, like the big campground stuff with the full hookups and all the stuff, the dump stations over there. And then if you pass that, that's where the golf course is. Uh, they do have a full-fledged golf course here. Um, we kind of drove through it and uh, it looks really, really awesome. Um, I figured since we're only here a couple of days, we probably won't do that, but, but anyway, so yeah. So we're here just hanging out. Uh, the cottages, so they have a couple of cottages um, here as well that it seems like you can rent out um, and it seems like they have maybe six or seven of them maybe more um, and so they seem really nice so even if you don't have tent trailer fifth wheel um, or any kind of RV and you wanted to come here and, and stay you can rent out the cottages they look really nice so I definitely would come back here. Um, I would recommend this place to anybody, um, whether you come here for day use, whether you stay here in a trailer, camper, RV of some sort, or if you uh, stay in one of their cottages, I would definitely recommend this place. Hello, 
hello, good evening, and welcome to the end of day two here at Jack Hill State Park. You see? See the camera? Say hello, my name is Madison, and I got stinky feet. Stinky, stinky feet. feet. Ooh, mm. stinky feet. Um, this place is awesome. This place, Jack Hill State Park, is really awesome. We went on one of their nature trails, which kind of runs from the lake behind all the campgrounds, and there's kind of like a little jut out over here by the campground so you can get back in, or you can continue. There's another yeah. half loop there that goes around. We went on that little nature walk right after we checked out their fishing docks. They have two floating docks uh, that you can fish off of. And it looked like one of them had uh, paddle boats mm -hmm. at them. And I don't know, can you rent those or? I'm pretty sure you can rent those. They also do different kayak rentals as well. Yes, so... I did see on the other side of the lake there, they have uh, some kayaks that you can rent. Yep. So there's a couple of different activities that they have available to do. We also did a drive around the park and checked out the golf course. Yeah. Not to be confused with the mini golf, which we also looked yeah. at today. Yeah. So um, they do have a full 18 whole golf course and driving range uh, that seemed very nice. I mean, it yeah. looked very well. I'd love to do the well putt-putt okay. golf tomorrow. Okay. We can totally do the putt-putt golf tomorrow. I think a lot of people will be leaving tomorrow since it's Sunday. Yeah. We could even do it early when it's still cooler out, yeah. which might be nice. Yeah, so maybe we'll get up early and do that. I'd love to make a separate video like we did on the magic. Sure of the little mini golf, except this time we're going to play the entire course. Okay, well, I guess if you missed that, uh, go check yeah. out half of the mini yeah. golf yeah. course on the It wasn't half, it was like three quarters of it. Was, <laughs> the rest of it was on a second story and she was in a, a stroller and we're like, uh, if we get her out, she's going to want to run around. She was really tired and it was just like, nah, we'll stop at whole nine or whatever it was. Yeah. Um, so tell us about the dinner that you made. It was kind of one of the first dinners that we've done in the camper that wasn't somehow pre-made. So it was fairly simple, I'll tell you, for anybody who cooks. I mean, it was a very easy meal. Uh, one of the things that I'll say that Rob got for us once we got the camper is a set of uh, pot and skillet that have a removable handle. Yes. And I will tell you, it makes all the difference while you... Oh. So this little pincher right here is actually the grabber that goes onto the pot or the skillet. You kind of grab it, as you can see here, it kind of pinches, and then it locks into place. And then when you're done, you just pop it back off. Now you do have to be very intentional, and that's something that I was wary of, is I didn't yeah. know how reliable that was. Is it actually going to grip the pot and pan strong enough to be able to pour boiling water through a colander or, you know, pick up something that is really hot and uh, no issue whatsoever. Yeah, it's I, awesome. Yeah, it's, it's I'll, been great. I'll link it down below. It's I found it on Amazon. It was so worth it. So yeah. I'll, I'll put that link down, affiliate link, buy it and I get a dollar. Not even. Not even. <laughs> but a dollar in wishes and 0.3 cents. It was really easy. So I just did some ground beef. I did some bow tie pasta, uh, mixed it with some vodka sauce, covered it with some mozzarella cheese and melted that cheese on top. Mm -hmm. So it was a, a hearty uh, pasta dinner. I also put spinach in it yes, as well for yes, yes. some veggies because we're That's healthy right. around we here. the epitome of health. Yes, because spinach was involved. I try yeah. to involve spinach as much as possible. For Should that. we tell them that we went to Dairy Queen and had blizzards? No. No, no. okay. The dinner was absolutely delicious. We all enjoyed it. It. Madison loved it. She was covered in it. Yeah, it was. I'll I tell took you, a couple any... of photos. She's got just the vodka sauce all over. Uh, for any parents out there, it's probably not the prime choice. We we had some feelings about the dinner choice after we made it. So we we're like, ooh, <laughs> while camping, this is yeah. a lot of mess to deal with. But totally she with has, I think she's ruined her onesie. But that's okay. That's okay. All right, we're gonna turn in for the night. I think. And Hello, good morning, and welcome to day three of our Camping Georgia adventure. But first, I need my coffee. Wow. <sighs> Pumpkin spice and everything nice. Yeah, it's really delicious. It's really good. Thanks for picking up the pumpkin spice quema. Mm -hmm. It's fall, y'all. And it feels like it. 
it's currently 48 50 degrees 50? right now yeah, yeah. so um which is wonderful we love we love it this is, this is what we came here for mm -hmm. so cheers georgia thanks for showing up all right um today's agenda is twofold i think one we want to explore more of jack hill state park mm -hmm. they have some mini golf that we would like to check out and i think we should do that early yeah so we're thinking about heading over there um it does seem to be an extra fee but we'll let you know exactly how much that is uh when we get there madison's currently playing with her blocks it's good in here <laughs> so if you hear some clinky clanky in the background that's our daughter stacking unstacking building a tower and toppling empires because she is that powerful mm -hmm. the second thing we are having an issue with our toilet um, and I would like to take a gander at it and so when you step on the foot flush the water barely trickles out like something's like there's a blockage right there so yeah, but it's not completely blocked not completely blocked right. it but still works there's minimal. still pressure in the line I can get water everywhere else so I've checked a couple of boxes off as to what it could be. I believe it's that that little thing there. So I might bust out the tools and try and figure something out. That may be a, a whole separate video or something, but that's another thing I want to take a gander at today. Um, thankfully here, the bathhouse is right across the road there. And it's very clean. And it's very clean and I mean, nice. Everything about this state park has yeah. just, I feel like, exceeded all of our expectations. Absolutely, absolutely. Like uh, it really is. Florida state parks are nice. Yeah. Um, we definitely have been to a lot of Florida state parks. Mm -hmm. Jack Hill is, is definitely uh, on the top of our list for now for state parks, um, especially in Georgia. Yeah. Um, we're here till tomorrow and then we're going to check out tomorrow and head up to Tennessee. Yep. So got another fun filled day at Jack Hill state park in Reedsville, Georgia. Reedsville, Georgia. Right next to Vidalia, Georgia. Yep. Home the of the sweet, sweet onion. onion. <laughs> sweet onion city. Yep. And everybody leans into that one real hard. Oh yeah. It's really cute. It's honestly. cute. It's adorable. Alright, we'll see you guys later. Alright, we're here at Jack Hill State Park. We've been camping here for the last few days, but today we're checking out their mini golf course. It is four dollars a person. Nice job. Hole in one. Well, we appreciate you guys joining us, and uh, we'll see you on the next course.